Hey guys, John V here from Phone Arena. You're watching our video review of the Motorola Droid Cyborg 8.2. It's a honeycomb tablet, kind of following after the Motorola Zoom, the original one. Um, it's available right now through Verizon Wireless for a two-year contract price of $429.99 or $600 outright. It features things like 4G LTE connectivity, 8.2-inch display. It's also part of the Droid family. Now, even though it doesn't boast an original design, just because it looks very similar to some of Motorola's smartphones, like the Photon 4G or even the Motorola Droid Razor with its cutout corners, we like the overall sturdy feel of the tablet. So we're definitely up there in terms of quality build um, in line to what we see with the iPad 2 and the HTC Flyer. Um, in the back, you have the uh, metallic back cover. It gives it a lot of strength, and we like the uh, bolts there. It gives it a nice accent. Same thing with the soft touch coat sides. makes it very comfortable to hold in the hand um, and easily held. It's not that wide at all. You can hold it with one hand easily, lightweight, streamlined. There's just a lot to like about this one. So the Motorola Droid Cyborg 8.2 features an 8.2 inch IPS enhanced HD display with a resolution of 1280 by 800 pixels. It's more than detailed enough to make out fine text. We didn't have any issues whatsoever as you could probably tell here. On top of that, we love the juicy color production it has to offer. Good brightness output, high contrast too, very easy on the eyes to make out. And we didn't have that much issues using it in outdoor conditions. When you're holding the tablet in portrait, you have a front-facing 1.3 megapixel camera right on top and built into the bezel. On the bottom edge tablet, you have the micro USB port, the micro HDMI out, and you also have the micro SIM card slot underneath the uh, flap right here. You have one speaker on the bottom edge and also another one on the top side just because it features uh, 2.1 virtual surround sound. You have the 3.5mm headset jack and this thing right here is actually an IR blaster which you could use a tablet just like a TV remote when you combine using the uh, digit application. We like the placement of the dedicated power button in the volume rocker just because it doesn't get in the way when you're holding the tablet either in portrait or landscape, but they're rather flat so they're very difficult to feel out. Finally, it features a 5 megapixel autofocus camera with a single LED flash right in the back and shoots 720p videos. At first we thought that the Droid Cyborg 8.2 was running a customized Android 3.2 Honeycomb experience, but it's actually the stock one here, nothing different from any other Honeycomb tablet we've seen. You have a clock widget there, which is a little bit different, but everything else is pretty much intact. Uh, when it comes to just the uh, personalization aspect, there's a lot, of course, you could do the uh, different wallpapers, the widgets, the app panels laid on traditional grid-like form, and as far as just the availability of widgets, they're very limited, not that much, unfortunately. Uh, you have generally your usual set that you find other honeycomb tablets. Powering the Motorola Droid Cyborg 8.2 is a dual core 1.2 gigahertz TI OMAP 44 to 30 processor and it's coupled with one gigabyte of RAM. Um, and it's performance typical of any other honeycomb device out there with a static wallpaper it does well, but with a live wallpaper, every now and then you'll notice a little bit of choppiness, but not that bad at all. As far as other basic tasks are concerned, opening up application, kinetic scrolling, pinch zooming, it's very responsive and again, it follows in line to other tablets out there. With its 8.2 inch display, it's very spacious as far as typing up long messages. We didn't have any issues. It has a good response to it, very quick, uh, spacious as well. And you have a variety of different options available to you. You have the stock honeycomb keyboard, the swift key, and also swipe. Right from the start and out of the box, the tablet packs a 4G LTE radio, unlike the original Motorola Zoom, and it does provide for some really fast data speeds, so complex web pages load up in no time at all. As far as the web browsing experience, it's a little bit choppy at times, especially with a lot of flash content. It's usable, but definitely going to need a lot of patience. So it's running the stock Honeycomb Music Player, which is nice with its interface. You have that nice 3D carousel when you're playing song and displays the usual stuff. But nice thing about it is the audio quality. It's definitely superb. Robust tones, very strong and loud and powerful. On top of that, um, just because it offers uh, 2.1 virtual surround sound, it also features uh, equalizer settings to better fine-tune the quality. High definition videos don't pose any problems for the Zyborg. The video we have here is encoded in DivX 1920 by 1080 resolution, and if you could tell, Playing it very smoothly, no lag, no slowdown, good consistent rate, and on top of that, the display is beautiful looking, so it's very easy on the eyes. Honestly, for a tablet, the Droid Cyborg 8.2 takes some nice looking shots with its 5 megapixel autofocus camera. Details are good, but colors can be a little bit washed out at times and indoors under low lighting conditions. Of course, you're going to see some digital noise and some diminished quality, but more than acceptable, to tell you the truth. Additionally, the Motorola Droid Cyborg captures some nice looking 720p videos as well. It shoots at a rate of 29 frames per second, so it's very smooth, there's no choppiness whatsoever. Details is a little bit on the fuzzy side and color production has a noticeable bluish tinge to it, but overall very pleasing still. Uh, the only issue that we have is that it seems like its exposure is a little bit on the sensitive side. 
Sadly, the biggest concern that we have with the tablet is just battery life. We use it consistently with 4G LTE connectivity and just normal usage. We're able to get roughly to the 10 hour mark before it requires a charge. So below under a day, obviously you could probably get better battery life if you're just on Wi-Fi. There's naturally a good amount of things that make the Motorola Droid Cyborg 8.2 a reasonable tablet out there if you're interested. It has 4G LTE connectivity, a solid build, one of the best out there. It takes some good photos and videos, and you have also the functionality of a TV remote in your hands, basically, with the IR blaster inside of it. But the biggest problem that we have is just the pricing. It's $429.99 with a two-year contract, and of course you're going to pay a monthly charge with that, or $600 outright. It's just an expensive uh, investment. And on top of that, battery life is still a concern with 4G LTE connectivity. Hopefully they'll come out the Wi-Fi version of this tablet to reduce the cost, but as it stands right now, definitely one of the biggest distractions that we have about it. So if you'd like to learn more about the Motorola Droid Cyborg 8.2, you can check out our website, phonearena.com. This is John V. Thanks for watching, everyone.